Monty Hall asks you to choose one of three doors. One of the doors hides a prize and the other two, well, they have nothing. You state out loud which door you want, but you don't open it right away. Monty then opens one of the other two doors and there is no prize behind it. At this moment, there are two closed doors, one of which you have picked. The prize is behind one of them, but you don't know which one. Monty asks you, do you want to switch doors? The question of the Monty Hall problem, whilst looking simple, is a bit baffling in reality. There are two schools of thought. One school of thought suggests that there is a 50-50 chance the prize is behind the door, so it doesn't really matter if you switch or not. The other school of thought suggests that there is a 66% chance of you getting the correct door if you switch due to there being three doors originally and assuming the open door is still accountable within the problem. Now, the question of do you switch doors is much more tricky, isn't it? Let's look at this mathematically. For the 50-50 school of thought, we disregard the open door as you've not picked it and there's nothing behind it, so... Fuck it. For the 60 and school of thought, however, we keep the third door within the equation, leading to a change. This change means changing doors is more statistically viable. The question in the middle of the two schools of thought, however, is do we disregard the empty door? On one hand, it is viable data, as to begin with, you were just as likely to pick that door as you were the other two, a 33% chance to be precise. However, is it really viable when the value of the door is zero and you can't choose that door now? If the option of the third door is removed, can you still consider it viable in the statistical equation being carried out? Now, which school of thought is considered right, I hear you ask? Well, here's the funny thing, buckaroos. There was some research performed by Paul Edros, a noted mathematician, observing a computer simulation. Here are the results. Look at them sexy results. Oh. As can be seen from these results, the computer ended up with a 66% win rate when switching doors, meaning it's statistically viable to include the third door within the statistical calculations and everyone who says it's 50-50 can suck a dick. I'm getting, of course. However, next time you're on a game show and you want to win immediately by making the host cry in the corner, Maybe you should ask him to pick a door. And maybe he'll pick the wrong door.